Scotland is just up that way. Over there is England. Wales is down there. And a few dozen miles that way is Ireland. But we're in none of those places. This is the Isle of Man. This is said to be the oldest parliament in the world called Tinwald. This is Manx money. Notes the Queen doesn't wear a crown. As Techenia Dugasak owns Manor. Famous Manx natives include Mark Cavendish, the Manx Missile, Kieran Tierney of Arsenal and Scotland, and these guys. When you think about the Isle of Man and sport, you probably think motorbikes, the world famous TT races. But recently, there's another sporting story that's got people here talking. The bubbling away of the idea has, has kind of been there, but you never think it's going to be me as a person that goes and does it. It's like someone else should go and do it. We've put it out there. We could potentially look into going to, the, to Ireland, to Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and everybody wanted us to go to England. The FA Cup was a big draw of that to a certain extent, and that romanticism of going in at step 10 and who knows where we could go. I think it's been spoken about for a long time on the island, but we've never had someone committed enough to actually put the foot down and say, you know what, this is what the island needs. And we're lucky enough, Lee Dixon, Steve Burns and Paul Jones, they, they sort of, yeah, decided to drive forward and make it happen. I've always thought this is what the island's needed for a number of years. When it first started and we had those first uh, two or three sessions a week, I loved it and I just wanted to be a part of it. How would you describe the vibe of the club, the style of the club? It's a community club. It's a small island. Obviously, we're a football mad island, and it's people come down the game. You have kids, you've got adults, friends, family. Everyone comes down. You have 1,500 plus week in week out. Everyone on the island is very uh, passionate about what they do, especially when it comes to football. I feel like football over here is probably the biggest sport. It's phenomenal. Right? You know, I've been to cup finals over here where there've been less than 200 people. FC Isle of Man are getting 1,500 people at least through the gate most weeks, and that's phenomenal. It's engaging people in football in the Isle of Man that wouldn't normally be engaged with it. For me, it's about family. It's on the island. It's local. I'm here with my dad, my young lad. Three generations. That, to me, is what it's about. It's just the best thing that's ever happened in Manx football for as long as I can remember. We're building a community here on the island of people that just want to come down and get behind it. It's fantastic. Good preparation. We've done everything we need to do, now it's over to you guys. So just make sure that you turn it on when you're out there. Come on, come on, come on. The board at this club has a Manx only policy. Is that something you support? Wholeheartedly. Right now at this level, yeah, it's got to be that way. Once you start going into the Conference League, you have to at some stage look at do you start to bring players in because you've got to meet the next level? or are we happy to stay at a lower level and keep it Manx? This club's here to celebrate our community, to promote our community and to promote the people within it. Everyone who's going to get first hit of that is going to be living on the Isle of Man. Do you look over at Athletic Bilbao and think, well, look what those lads have done? We actually spoke to Athletic Bilbao, believe it or not. Very weird conversation, I'm sure, for them with these like two little Manxies having a chat about what Athletic Bilbao are doing and how we can nick some ideas. But no, they were great and they were really interested in what we were doing. Our price of being involved in that English League county system is that we have to pay for every team to come to the Isle of Man, all the match officials to come to the Isle of Man for every game that we play. But all our players have to take time off work to come and go and play their games away. You know, our travel is obviously 20, 20 times a year. Our lads are going on either day trips or overnight trips in order to go and play, but they'll do that for the opportunity that the club is giving them. There's only two teams in the league that doesn't get paid and there's a number of players that we play against and they can't believe the fact that we don't get any money for it. But we do it for the love of the game. OK, settle down. It don't take too long on the ball. It goes in, out, in, out. Just disappointing that we couldn't get any shots away for even from 35 yards in those conditions. That wind at your back, you should have had a few pops. Is success for you about promotions, 
and cup runs? Or is it about seeing a handful of these players get snapped up by bigger football clubs? I'll be happy if we got two or three players away at League One, League Two. To me, that's a massive success above all else. We can deliver high level athletes. So physiologically and genetically, we've got the people here that can go and be very athletic. Now it's then about putting the infrastructure behind it and then the community supporting it like the world's our oyster. There'll be a point where we can't go any further, but I've no idea where that'll be. And that's the bit that I'm really excited about. We've got people turning up to our games who are saying this club has made, made a huge difference to their mental health. They found a sense of purpose and a sense of community and they can't wait to come on a Saturday night. That's for me the biggest tick. That, that's what community non-league clubs are all about. This is the future for the Isle of Man. This is the future for the kids. Just to be part of it and be the first one in, you know, no one can ever sort of like strip you of that. Everybody, energy, come on! The football club represents the whole island, everyone wants us to do well and when we put on that shirt and walk out there we're, we're like represent 80,000 people here on the Isle of Man and we, we want to make them proud at the end of the day. They're not just playing football for a club, they're playing football for their island, they're playing football for the people that they go to work with, the people they walk down the street and see and they're slapping them on the back after a win on a Saturday and it's a huge, huge incentive for them every time they run onto this pitch. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.